Peggy 12. Welcome to your orientation as a ruler. A great many decisions will rest upon your shoulders, so we have prepared this brief training to arm you with knowledge. After all, insufficient facts always invite danger. What kind of a leader you will be depends largely on the traditions that you set in place. Some traditions might be expected of you as a continuation of how things have always been, while others are anathema to the founding principles of the faction. Sometimes it is necessary to set a particular tradition in place for completion of a later mission or goal you set. This is an important choice to make and will prevent you from taking its antithesis. When you take the chair as the ruler of your people, there will be a number of already established norms. These will dictate how effectively you can rule with certain styles of government. The Federation will be blocked from starting wars with other factions and can only expand through peaceful means unless the conquest tradition path is set in motion. The Klingons will need to build and use their fleet to stay on top of their game. Without a fight, there is no honor, and without honor, you cannot call yourself Klingon. The Cardassians balance how to treat the subservient races on the edge of a knife. They are costly to keep happy and more costly to suppress, but incredibly profitable when under pressure. The Romulans cannot build a large fleet, so they need to build large ships. Artificial black holes are a great way to avoid using matter and antimatter reactors, but it comes at a great cost. Depending on the faction you lead, you will see things from a different perspective. The situation may be the same, but how that information reaches you and how it affects your people will vary. This, of course, is part of the diversity of the Alpha and Beta Quadrants. However, you are not the only nations that have a stake in how the political playing field evolves. Minor powers across the quadrants, vying to remain stable, are in a precarious and vulnerable position and may require help. Will you offer it to them and indirectly affect the war effort? Or join the fight? While war is an expected and inevitable part of the balance of power within the galaxy, you must take caution with how you approach it. Long drawn out campaigns will wear your people down, creating enemies in unexpected camps, and underlining all of it will be the overall tension across the quadrants. War affects everyone. Among the many tools in the arsenal of galactic power, your fleet is the most obvious one. A strong fleet does not simply mean the most ships, it means having the crews available to ensure optimality officers with the training to secure victory. That is where each fleet's power lies, but it is also where the challenge of drawn-out conflict takes its toll. Training new officers requires the construction of specialized military bases to be able to support the war effort. A ship without its crew will be far less effective. The capability of your fleet also depends on its ability to warp, as well as your understanding of warp distances. Some of the most important things to remember are that each ship class under your command has a range and that not all of them are the same. Additionally, as a leader, you understand that it could be a diplomatic disaster to warp into another faction's borders without the proper treaties and agreements. Unless, of course, you have spies. Warp highways can make the process of traversing the quadrants faster, but these may not always be convenient to your destination. Still, it is worth your time to explore where they lead as they provide shortcuts across the quadrant. You may have been a famed admiral or daring captain prior to your appointment to leader, but now you sit above it all. It is your job, nay, your responsibility, to act with the bigger picture in mind. Leave the micro-level decisions of target priority or when to cycle shields to your captains and admirals. Learn to trust those who serve you to make the best combat decisions in the heat of the moment. It is no longer your purview. You must focus on more important matters. Use this knowledge to guide your decisions as you lead your people. The rest is up to you. Create your own Star Trek story. <laughs>